I'm a self-improvement junkie and I love taking online courses. And I've gotten this question a lot, are Udemy courses worth it? So I'm gonna deep dive into if Udemy courses are worth it and if so, what subjects are worth taking and what criteria you can use to determine if you'll get your money and your time's worth out of courses on udemy.com. Let's check it out. Kristani here, I run a internet business. I'm an internet entrepreneur and I've been running my own business online for many years now, have no employees and I am a learning junkie. I love learning. And it's, it's really the reason why I've been able to be able to work for myself and become skilled in what I do, which is you know ad analysis and you know, copywriting and blah, blah, blah. But the point being, Udemy's come on my radar because they have such a plethora of courses. They have, I believe, thousands of online courses on there. And I've gotten questions from people asking me, you know, are Udemy courses worth it? And I've wondered that same thing. It's hard to pass judgments on so many courses because Udemy has thousands of courses. And I've, I've been through very, very, very few courses on Udemy, just a couple. So keep in mind that my judgments and my opinions on Udemy are limited to a few courses. But what I can also give you is from my research, okay, how to pick the best courses to take online. And uh, that'll kind of explain my reasoning about why my thoughts on Udemy are as such. So first off, I wanna separate kind of, I wanna make a really clear distinction between two major subjects here. There's kind of what I call like life subjects and then there's business subjects. Life subjects are things such as cooking or you know how to cook a good hamburger or how to repair your house or how to edit photos, etc. And a lot of these courses don't necessarily pertain to uh, hard results. And then there's business, which is pertains to learning how to make money. And there are a lot of courses on Udemy that are focused on business and specifically sales and marketing courses on Udemy. There, there are quite a bit of. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I separated these two subjects because they're very different in what their outcomes are. So first, let me address life subjects. I don't take any courses on dancing or, or uh, you know, cooking or any of these life subjects. So I don't have much to rate them on. But what I can tell you is Udemy has a great, so many courses, it's, it seems to be really good for a lot of subjects that are just kind of life subjects. I know they show you how to do pet care, how to do health, how to do fitness, um, how to edit photos, and a lot of these specific subjects around life or different like kind of soft skills, I think are very helpful. I haven't personally been through the courses, but from what I've seen, no other places offer courses or do they offer courses as cheap as Udemy does? Udemy essentially discounts all of their courses and offers all of their courses for something around $10, okay? So if you are not buying a Udemy course for $10, just wait a day and they will discount the course to 10 or 11 or $12. It's really that easy. I see like courses that are like $200 and then they'll be going for $10. Um, so it's kind of crazy. The next subject is business subject. Many people nowadays, at least many of the people subscribing to my channel, are looking to work for themselves, are looking to work from home. So understanding if your goal is to make money and work from home, that's the results you want from a course is you wanna learn how to make more money. Now, unfortunately, from what I've seen on Udemy, it really doesn't do very well in these subjects such as making money and working for yourself, okay? The reason is I look at a few different criteria. The first thing I look at is, does this teacher that I'm learning from have what I want to have? Am I learning from somebody that is, you know, in my case, I wanted to learn from people who were multi-millionaires. Am I learning from somebody who is a multi-millionaire or are they an employee for a company? You know, just trying to show up on search results for something. More often than not, I found that the business instructors are not particularly successful. They're usually employees for, for some sort of corporation or they are Udemy instructor. You know, they're paid to put up courses on Udemy and they don't actually have success making money doing that. 
If I wanted to learn how to be successful on Amazon, I want to learn from somebody who made their first million doing Amazon. Not teaching Amazon, not somebody who worked for Amazon. I want to learn from somebody who actually made money by running an Amazon business themselves. And unfortunately, I don't see a lot of those people on Udemy. I think Udemy courses are worth it if you are taking a life kind of subject or if you're learning photography or video editing or some of these other skills. But if you're trying to learn how to work for yourself, I don't think Udemy does very well in that subject. The other sad part about Udemy that I've noticed is, again, I mentioned the discounting beforehand. I am an instructor. I am an online teacher. That's one of the businesses I'm in. About half of my income comes from teaching others how to be affiliate marketers. I would never put my course on Udemy. And the problem is Udemy has created a horrible platform for supporting creators and teachers like myself because first off, you have no control over who, who buys your course or who, who, what you can sell your course for. You don't actually even get direct access to your students. If you want to talk to your students, you need to message them through Udemy. So Udemy, in essence, is owning your student base and they determine what they sell your knowledge and your programs for. That's not very friendly to teachers. And for teachers and business subjects, I want to be able to speak to my students. I want to be, you know, learning how to make money online is a very serious and frustrating process. And to be able to work closely with my students is very important. So not having that control or access is a huge mark against Udemy. And I frankly don't see why so many people use this company in the first place. Now, if you learned something from this video, hopefully you took something away from this or hopefully I helped you out in some way, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and leave a comment for me. If you agree with me, let me know if you've taken a Udemy course. Um, let me know if you agree or you disagree.